talent. Yeah, y'all ready? Inspiration. All right, we're rolling. Music history. <laughs> and worries outside these walls when the founder of the studio died. Can't you hear the moves of hell and old around my poor little darling? Cindy Wolf is part of a club of hundreds of singers and songwriters who have performed here. Some even struck gold. You know, it has such a good history. Uh, lots of great people have been through here, so just keep them coming. This room definitely has a sound. All right, that was pretty good. You know, I can't imagine not coming down here every day and working. Last October, the studio's founder died after a battle with cancer. Lou Whitney made this place the go-to spot for young musicians. It was the heart of my music world and you know, most of the people I knew. The pressure to keep the music alive fell to Lou's friend, former bandmate, and employee, Eric Shookman. It was an odd transition, trying to figure out what to do and you know, dealing with it all. I mean, I, I think a lot of people wondered what would happen. We're rolling. So what's happening now? Wake up girl and heed my warning, who's is a hand in here this morning? You can hear it, the studio is alive. So I'll tell them that I paid my dues time. It works. And well-known local musician Mark Ballou is now on board, not only helping record new stuff, but saving the voices recorded on old tape. Just keep right on playing my own style. Oh, I love this. Oh, yeah. The people who work here will tell you it doesn't really feel like Lou is gone. In fact, Eric says sometimes when he's at the board, it feels like Lou is directing his hands. If you want to remember Lou, just come here. I think what's happening here is just right. To be able to play a part in keeping it going and keeping it alive means a lot to me, you know, and I hope I hope to other people too. One on the hill, two in the holler, Beth and what's Cindy doing here? Well, she's doing what other singers and songwriters have done for years. She's working on an album, a collection of Ozark folk tunes. Oh, you'd be excited. Keeping the music alive in the studio downtown. You know, there's always people who want to record and you know make music. I've always thought you know just gonna keep it open and keep it going you know that's what he wanted so that's what we're gonna do. Yeah.